Hold on, because now let's get started with velocity. Okay, now let's see velocity at a point in a node where it is given by v equals under root 2 gm. Sorry, under root dm multiplied by 2 by r minus 1 by a. And r is the distance from one of the foci to the point in a node. Okay, and a is the semi major axis, g universal gravitational constant, mass of the planet m. And v velocity at perigee and apogee are given as follows. And velocity at perigee is under root gm multiplied by 1 plus e upon 1 minus e. And velocity at perigee in terms of radius of perigee and radius of apogee. RP and RA respectively is given by under root 2 gm RA upon RP multiplied by RA plus RP and velocity at apogee in terms of eccentricity is under root gm into 1 minus e upon 1 plus e and in terms of radiuses at perigee and apogee are 2 gm RP upon RA multiplied by RA plus RP all under root and the orbital velocity of the satellite while orbiting around a planet in circular orbit is given by this formula under root gm by R it is just the balance of centripetal force and centrifugal force we can derive it from that and escape velocity is given by kinetic energy equals potential energy okay because in escape velocity it follows parabolic or uh, trajectory and the binding energy will be zero and from there we have escape velocity equals under root 2 gm by r which is under root 2 times v naught v naught is this and escape velocity is under root 2 times v naught also it's 11.2 kilometer per second for uh, spacecraft to escape from earth's gravitation okay and excess velocity required while orbiting to leave the influence of earth gravitation or any planet gravitation is given by delta v which is required to escape while orbiting in an orbit delta v is the excess velocity required and it can be computed by uh, the escape velocity minus the orbiting velocity which will give us the excess velocity required okay escape velocity is under root 2 gm by r minus orbiting velocity under root gm 2 by r minus 1 by a and excess velocity required at perigee for this case rp equals a into 1 minus e which we have seen in our earlier videos and therefore if we substitute rp over here and here delta v at perigee will be given by 2 gm upon rp minus gm 2 by r minus 1 by both in under root and apogee, at apogee, the excess velocity will be given in terms of RA like this. You have to just substitute RA in terms of this if you want to compute it in terms of eccentricity over here. Okay. So now we are left with this perpendicular and parallel velocity. These perpendicular and parallel velocity are the components of the velocity of the satellite while orbiting in the orbit. So the parallel velocity is parallel to the radial vector and perpendicular velocity is the perpendicular to the radial vector. And perpendicular velocity for a circular orbit or any elliptical orbit can be determined by h by r. Because h is the angular momentum per unit mass which is given by r cross v. And for a circular, a circular orbit, we know r, v, sin theta and radial vector and velocity vector will be perpendicular. So theta or sin theta, r cross v sin theta, that is theta equals to 90 degrees. Sin theta, sin 90 is 1. So v and r, sin 90 or v, r equals to h, which is also equal to 1 plus e cos theta upon h by k square. So v perpendicular in terms of eccentricities can be calculated by this. And v parallel equals v, r min, uh, equals e sin theta upon h by k square. And from both of these, we can calculate this orbiting velocity, magnitude of this velocity, by just taking the square uh, sum of square of these velocities and with under, under root over them. Thank you.